If you're driving and suddenly you experience low power and sounds like your engine is running rough, it's probably because your timing probably jumped. Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your timing is off by a tooth or two? If your timing is off by a tooth or two, you'll notice poor engine performance, low power, engine misfire, weak acceleration, rough idle, and your vehicle may stall at idle as well. If you're experiencing all these symptoms and you can't figure out what the problem is, it is time to check the timing system. To inspect the timing mark, you have to remove the harmonic balancer, timing cover, engine mount, valve cover, alternator, and whatever else is on the way. Once you have access to the timing system, use a paint marker and mark the timing. Next, you want to rotate the uh, crankshaft just by a little bit and check if any of the timing is off. If you have a hard time seeing if the timing is spot on, you can always put a line across the timing belt and that will give you a better visual to see if the timing are aligned. The three main reasons why timing jump is either caused by stretch timing chain, worn timing belt, bad timing tensioner, or you have bad pulleys. Next, compare the old timing belt with the brand new timing belt. Put them side by side. If the old timing belt looks slightly longer, then you know the old timing belt is stretched. Make sure to use a camshaft tool by putting the timing belt back on. If the camshaft sprockets are close enough, you can wedge a flathead screwdriver in between it. Make sure to not damage the camshaft sprocket. If your timing only jumped by a tooth and you replace the timing belt, you replace the tensioner, you replace the pulley, and the timing marks are aligned, then your engine should run fine. However, if your timing jumped by a few teeth and you replace the timing belt, you change the timing tensioner, you change the pulley, the timing marks are aligned, and your engine is still running rough, most likely your valves are bent. If you suspect that your valves are bent, it is time to conduct a compression test. And if compression is low, most likely you have to pull out the uh, cylinder head and have the valves changed. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.